good youtube akil here back with another video and your boy is back in charlotte north carolina for the weekend and as you guys can see i'm right outside of plato's closet so just like last time i was in charlotte i was able to pick up a couple stuff from here so i decided to come back and hopefully i can come across some really good stuff to sell on ebay or maybe even on poshmark because i'm trying to get more active on that website so i'm gonna look through some clothes and of course some shoes and hopefully try to get some good stuff so if you guys haven't already make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe to the channel and without further ado let's get into Alright y'all, so as soon as I walked into the store, I had to see what actually was on clearance because as you guys seen, they said 50% off the clearance section today. And as soon as I walked in, these are just the size 5 section and size 5, 5 and a half, sometimes even 6, th those sizes are just kind of small. So those tend to move a lot slower for me, so I didn't want to waste any time in that section. But of course, I'll go back to the women's section a little later. Stay tuned for that because I feel like that's where uh, things started to heat up a little bit. But drop a comment if you guys see any shoes that I may have passed on. If you've seen something that you probably would have grabbed up for yourself, drop a comment. Let me know. I kind of just wanted to, you know, just kind of show you guys what they had available and what some of the prices were. In my opinion, the prices, some of the stuff were kind of overpriced, but it is what it is. It is like a thrift store, like more of like a higher end thrift store, consignment shop, whatever you want to call it. So some of these shoes were, you know, a little pricey in my opinion. Um, but overall, um, they had a decent selection. This was a pair of Nike Joyrides. I know that wasn't a popular model, so I just passed on those. And these Johnson & Murphy loafers were really in good condition, but that brand just tends to move super, super slow for me. So I ended up passing on that one. But luckily, came up on a pair of these Doc Martin shoes. Um, I probably would have grabbed these up if they were a little cheaper because I tend to get like 70 to 80 bucks for Doc Martens in this condition. Um, this particular model, I'm not too sure about, though. It might have sold for a little less, maybe a little more. Um, but they were asking 40 bucks. And if you guys follow the channel, you guys know I usually would spend like anywhere between like 5 and 12 bucks for those uh, types of shoes in Arizona. So I ended up passing on that. Uh, next came up on this pair of New Balance, and I think it's pronounced Vazy or maybe Vazy, not really sure. Um, you always got to check New Balance because some of these shoes sell for a ton of profit, and they may look super simple, super basic, but New Balance just has some shoes that sell for a ton of profit. Unfortunately, that pair was definitely not one of them. Next up, found this pair of Nike Kyrie 4s, and I probably should have checked the style code on these because I don't sell a ton of Kyries, mainly because the value just isn't there, but I know know some of these Kyries do have some value if it's a collaboration or if it's something special but this pair in particular not the best condition but pretty good you know the normal signs of wear so probably could have got maybe 50 or 60 bucks for these if it's just a regular pair of Kyries but like I said I didn't do any research on those so drop a comment if you think I should have picked those up uh, here was a pair of Air Force Ones but these are the duck boots that tend to sell a lot better during the fall and winter they were asking 45 bucks for these and i probably would have grabbed those up if i found these in arizona i just know you would need to clean them up a little bit of course try to clean them up and get that fuzzy that i like sock fuzz out out of the shoe because that tends to drop the value a little bit as well that's when having a fabric shaver comes in in handy uh, i'll make sure i'll link one of those in the description in case you guys aren't familiar with fabric shavers but just checking on the comps those probably would have sold for about a hundred bucks here was something else i really wasn't too familiar with i was trying to do some research and of course i typed in the style code but i couldn't find this exact model so i wasn't sure if these were even legit but this was just a pair of doc martens with some studs on them so pretty clean shoe not a lot of wear on these at all but i ended up passing on them like i said i couldn't i couldn't find the exact comps for those so now we're in the women's section and came up on this pair of Echo. I believe these are the Danish design leather shoes. Um, I sold a few of these in the past. They definitely don't sell super quick at all, but they tend to sell anywhere between like 40 to 50 bucks for me, especially in this condition. They were probably worn maybe once or twice. And for 10 bucks, this was a steal. I definitely had to grab that up. And, and it's a small shoe, so I should be able to fit that in my luggage perfectly. But this was probably one of my best finds in the store so far. Um, came up on this pair of vapor max utilities i wish they was a size 11 because you guys already know i would have grabbed those up but this is something that someone clearly either was trying to hide and put them in the women's section or maybe 
maybe one of the workers just put them in the wrong spot but overall this was probably one of the best finds that i got in the store for that day i'm um, definitely grabbing these up they should sell for me right around maybe 120 to as much as 150 just based on the comps but i'm probably going to price mine a little more conservative maybe like 130 or something like that all right y'all so drop a comment if you guys remember when these shoes came out back in the day when these originally came out these shoes were terrible to this day in my opinion these shoes are still terrible and that's the reason why i ended up passing on these but you have to always remember not to inject your your point of view or your style when it comes to reselling stuff because i probably should have grabbed these up these were in the wrong section of the store these were actually a men's shoe and they're only asking 30 bucks for these and if these were actually legit i could i probably should have grabbed these up and listed them for maybe 100 to 110 but like i said my my personal style got in the way and i probably missed out on some money but it is what it is so next came up on this pair of nike air max pluses and i've sold these ex same exact shoes a few times in the past i actually picked these up from ross brand new for i think 50 bucks sold them for about 110 but this was last year so i don't think the value is that high anymore but after seeing the price tag on these for only 20 bucks i definitely had to check these out a little more thoroughly and then i realized that's why they were 20 bucks because they had this really big hole on the back probably someone's dog got to these or something but like i said anytime i see prices a little too good to be true that's usually because of a flaw so i ended up passing on those uh this was another good pickup uh, came across this pair of adidas ultra boost 19s uh they priced these pretty cheap only 25 bucks these should sell right around maybe 60 to maybe as high as 80 bucks i probably won't get a hundred dollars for these but these were in pretty good condition just some little flaws on the boost and the midsole but overall pretty good condition so definitely going to be grabbing these up i know ultra boost don't sell as fast as they used to they're not as popular as they used to be but still a good shoe and people tend to grab these up pretty often so this was a nice surprise came up on a pair of hokas while i was out here in charlotte and as you guys know i used to find these shoes all the time i don't really find them that much in arizona anymore so like i said really nice surprise but of course they were asking 45 bucks for these because they were in pretty good condition and the bondi 7 tends to sell for a decent amount of profit but um if these were brand new 45 bucks i would have definitely grabbed them up because i'll be able to sell them for at least 100 bucks and not have to spend any money on fees which is always clutch for ebay but since it was 45 bucks in use i ended up passing on it uh once again came up on another pair of hokas which was a really nice surprise i was actually going to grab these up because these seem to be a store return um they were just in really good shape overall and I know it was some marker on the back, but sometimes you can get that marker out. If it's not a permanent marker, you could get it out with some Goo Gone or maybe even some rubbing alcohol. Uh, I know acetone and like certain nail polish removers could get that off. And if worse comes to worse, sometimes you can even use like just a white rubber eraser to kind of get some of those marks out of there as well. But overall, 45 bucks and this particular model in this condition would probably bring me maybe 70 to 80 bucks on ebay so for that reason i ended up passing on those um this is a good brand for you guys to be on the lookout for noble um well actually i'm not sure if this brand is as solid as it used to be because i have a pair listed in my store right now and it's been sitting for at least uh 60 days i know i relisted it twice at this time but um noble was it used to be a really solid brand i looked up this exact model on ebay and they were selling for right around 40 to 50 bucks in this similar condition so for that reason i ended up passing on it but if you're ever out thrifting that's a great shoe to pick up for you know five to ten bucks um last couple shoes i ended up seeing on clearance it definitely wasn't a ton of shoes on clearance in this store at all maybe i just got here too late but i had to check the the clothing section before i left here and as you guys can see came up on some carolina panthers gear that's how you know i'm in charlotte because i never would find this in arizona but i was trying to see if i can find any clothes for poshmark but they really didn't have anything good in terms of clothing in this store so i ended up just passing on that jacket but what i'm gonna do is hit up a couple other stores probably some goodwills and probably some other smaller thrift stores in the area and i'm gonna keep you guys updated drop another video but I'm just going to end this video here and I'll see you guys in the next one. For the winner. Cuz you feel like you was losing. Only for the winner. Mood just to keep from cooling like only for the winner. Only for the winner. Only for the winner. Boy my heart is cold. And I'm too cool to sweat it. I should have never offered it. I'm tight and now I'm off this shit. You should
wanna be a real one uh. Earn the bases hard, I still want Tired of wasting time